Welcome back. We have got to talk about Uber. Uber now just revealing a massive data breach that exposed the personal information of 57 million drivers and customers one full year after the incident happened. The ride-hailing company paid hackers 100 grand last October to keep the hack under wraps. What a disaster. I want to bring in Marvette Brito, public relations expert. Okie doke. This is a clear case of the cover-up is worse than the crime. They paid the hackers 100 grand, and the hackers promised to delete the information. We don't even know if they did. And now the new CEO comes in, finds out, fires the head of security, and says, I'm sorry, we're going to tighten up the process. This won't happen again. But again, covering up the cover-up, this is like my kids. When my kids do something wrong, and they lie, and they lie on top of it. We've said over and over that Uber needs grown-ups in the room. How do they get out from under this? Well, the moral and ethical fiber of an organization is revealed through crisis and clearly this happened a year ago but it happened under at the former CEO. They now have a new CEO and the first ever chief brand officer in a celebrated seasoned marketing strategist, Bozema St. John. So she what, is the bomb. Amazing. And so the culture, Uber revealed eight new cultural norms of the organization. So we should now begin to see a difference in the way that they're handling crisis. They got the same board. They've got the same board, but they have new leadership and they have new strong leadership and they're already revealing and showing that they're taking measures. First off, the statement from the CEO was very transparent. He came forward, he took ownership, he wrote a personal statement. And he wrote a statement speaking about how they weren't going to tolerate certain um, breaches and certain a certain culture, which is very courageous of them to do. In this day and age that we're living in, an age of technology, currency and consumer information is the highest currency period. It, it, it's, it needs to be fiercely protected. So for them to come forward and actually offer some sort of uh, security theft for its, its drivers and its customers is very important. And we've seen Uber do that. More importantly, this is going to happen. It happened at Equifax. It happened at Yahoo. And it's going to continue to happen. And, and, and corporations need to be aware. But more importantly, the hiding is concerning because customers need to know. They need to know in advance to be able to protect themselves. They need to know to be able to be um, you know, aware of what could potentially happen. So it's very dangerous when a company hides it. And so we need to watch Uber closely now to see how they act now that they have this information. But does it actually impact? impact customer behavior. Uber has gone through a terrible run. Travis is out, Emil is out, but the company is still valued at $50 billion. And this, you know, people are still every morning getting up and Ubering. Does it really change how much we use the product? It doesn't change how much we use the product if we don't see a change within the company culture. And again, by them addressing it head on when they found out about it, it the, the Travis knew about it, but the new leadership, we're not really sure when they knew, but we do know that the minute that they became aware of it, they came forward. They had and, no and reason really, to cover it up. No reason to cover it if up. If you're the new CEO, you want to make it clear, here's all the bad things that happened. Those are Not on my watch. Exactly. Exactly. And that we, we see them doing that. So we should really stand by Uber and, and watch and, 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 and see how they take uh, control of this situation. They got a new team. Yep. Give them a shot. Thank exactly. you so much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.